Okay, let's bring Linear Algebra into the mix. Suppose we have some states. Maybe we have three states. Let's look at the SIR model. So we've got state S and we've got state I and we've got state R. And we have some transition probabilities. Let's say they're as follows. I haven't bothered writing in zero probabilities. So like, it's impossible to go directly from S to R. So I don't have an arrow from S to R. And now let's ask the following question. Suppose you know how likely it is that you are in each of these states. Suppose the probability that you are susceptible currently is S sub zero. The probability that you are infected currently is I sub zero. And the probability that you are recovered currently is R sub zero. After one transition, what is the probability that you will be in S, the probability that you will be in I, and the probability that you will be in R? Let's work that out. Let's work out the probability that you're in S after a single transition. Well, at least hypothetically, there are three ways you could be in S. You could be in S and then transition back to S. You could be in I and transition to S. You could be in R and transition to S. Of course, some of those things can't actually happen, but let's write them all down. What's the probability that you're in S and you transition to S? Well, the probability that you're in S is S sub zero. The probability that you transition to S is 0.9. So the probability that you were already in S and stayed there is this. What's the probability that you were in I and transitioned to S? Well, the probability that you were initially in I is I sub zero, but the probability of transitioning from I to S is zero. Likewise, the probability that you're in R initially is R sub zero. The probability of transitioning from R to S is zero. So these are the only ways to be in S after a single transition. We start there and stay there. We start in I and go to S. We start in R and go to S. And because those cases are mutually exclusive, we just add these probabilities. 
what's the probability of being in I after a single transition? There are three ways you could be in I. You could start in S and transition to I. The probability of that is the probability that you start in S times the probability of transitioning from S to I. Or you could start in I and stay there. The probability of starting in I times the probability of staying there. Or you could start in R and go to I, but the probability of going from R to I is zero. What's the probability of being in R? after one transition. Well, you could start in S and transition to R. That can't happen though. The probability of starting in S is S sub zero times the probability of transitioning into R you can't go directly from S to R. That probability is zero. Or you could be in I with probability I sub zero and transition to R with probability 0. Or you could be in R with probability R zero and transition to R with probability one. This system of equations can be rewritten as a matrix equation. The vector of probabilities after one transition is a matrix times the initial vector of probabilities. In general, the probability of being in S, I, and R after K transitions is this. I mean, there's nothing special about zero and one. If we'd had like five and six, everything would have worked out the same. So, for example, the probability that we're in S, I, and R after two transitions is this matrix times the probability that we're in S, I, and R after one transition. But this vector. is this matrix times the initial probability distribution. So this matrix times this matrix, that is to say this matrix squared times the initial probability distribution. And in general, the probability that we're in each state after K transitions 
Is this matrix to the power of K times the initial probability distribution. There was nothing special about the SIR model that allowed us to do this analysis. Any Markov chain can be studied in this way.